Hi, Ian and Marcus. What are you doing here? Hi, Punit. I'm showing Lamba, our S2 sister, how to choose our study tour. Maybe I can share my sister's experience with you. Your sister was studying in college before. How is she doing? Yes, me graduated just last year. She's now studying at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. University life is hectic, but she says it's still enjoyable. And of course, she misses our school a lot. She went on a trip to France in 2019. She was one of the five selected students from Hong Kong to spend a month in France, staying with a host family. After the trip, she gained more confidence and fluency in speaking French. Most importantly, she had the chance to experience a true European lifestyle. Wow, she was so lucky to get chosen for this exchange trip. Yes, she was. The ELITE program, Experiential Learning in Expeditions, in our school provides students a lot of opportunities to see the world. I know it started 10 years ago and all students are required to join at least one study tour in their junior form years. When I was in Form 3, I went on a geo tour to Jeju Island in South Korea to visit the heritage places to learn about its history, culture, and geology. And there have been many other tours. Besides the elite program, subject departments also organize subject-related tours to explore and enhance students' knowledge. For instance, the BAFS and Science Department organized a study tour to South Korea and the Geography Department took students to Kyushu to see the special geographic features of the southern part of Japan and to learn how the Japanese make policies to protect the environment. The Chinese History Department has organized various tours, taking students to Guangzhou, Guizhou, Xi'an, and Henan to see the historical sites, culture, the ethnic, and local attractions. I heard from Ian that we have exchanged tours to the US, Australia, Canada, and France. That is amazing! Yes, we had a 15-day exchange tour to Maple Ridge, Vancouver, in Canada during the summer holidays. It helped us appreciate the local culture and learn English in a language-rich environment. The school also organized an exchange tour to the University of Maine in Farmington, and I was one of the participants. We got an opportunity to stay with the local people. We learned the technology of water windmills, studied rocks at Acadia National Park, and saw how timber boats were made. The most unforgettable part of the trip was learning how to survive in the wilderness, how to make fire and live without electricity and gas. Now, those are skills we can't acquire in the classroom. Thanks to the school, these study tours open our eyes to the bigger world and teach us what learning without boundary is. And gratitude tours help us learn things in a fun way. What are we waiting for? Let's fly together!